<laughs> this is how it starts. <laughs> so I made it out of Pompano Beach a day late. Tire short. The tire short. <laughs> Florida went into a rock cup. We'll get one of the cameras on one of the sh these shifter carts. They're pretty well today. Porsche I end up P6, Renee P2, and Zach P14. Tough field. Good field. Quick. t are rolling. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button. Turn on notifications. Turn on the notification. Hit the little bell. Make sure you go to uh, White Knuckle Racing as well. New podcast channel. Hope you guys are enjoying that one as well. So... Definitely thanks to Farshan and Matt for turning around and coming and getting me and helping me out. We'll get this tire fixed sometime tomorrow. Probably drop that off first thing during lunch break or something. Get it fixed. Swap back out. Rambling. Farshan says cut it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is up? We are here for round one of Rock Cup. Leaving the hotel now. As you can see, I'm a little lost. <laughs> um, last night, I had an issue, as you guys saw. So I will be heading to get that sorted out this morning. Uh, we're gonna be grabbing footage from Farshad. He's gonna be driving Shifter Masterclass. So they have practice this morning at 8.20. First he at 9.50. And there's a pretty big break until one something. So, um, should be a good day of racing. Rock Cup puts on a tremendous show. Just sucks that they don't have the 206 class this year. Understandable. I know they're trying to go into a different direction. So, watch some fun racing. Enjoy this weekend. And hope you guys enjoy this video. So here we are riding along with Farsha and the shifter. Now if you guys don't know what a shifter is uh, for the Rock Cup, it's a 125 Vortex CC two-stroke motor. And it has a gearbox. Uh, you have six gears, sequential. Uh, use the clutch only to start off. Like uh, you don't use the clutch uh, to crank the uh, motor up or anything. You put it in gear and you spin the rear tire and it fires up. Um, so we're, and then it has a uh, front disc brakes as well. Uh, most cars just have one rear brake. These has two front brakes and one rear brake. Uh, it's an incredible feeling to drive one. The acceleration is insane. The braking is insane. Uh, here you see Farshad uh, doing a warm-up lap for uh, his warm-up session. He did, was doing really well. Picked up plenty of time overnight uh, looking at footage and data. So we went and took care of my issue. Uh, Got a patch job on the tire since they didn't have anything else at the moment. Made it to a show. Uh, Farshad picked up almost eight tenths, I think. He, I mean, he pulled out a killer lap. Uh, Renee even did better. I think he went P1 in practice. Uh, Zach did really well. The whole team's doing really well. So definitely excited to see what the rest of the day holds. Uh, definitely can't wait to watch him on track. Uh, I'm gonna be like a cheerleader. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So here he is, start heat uh, number two, and this is a standing start. Uh, you hold the clutch in, pop in the gear, and then once the flag goes, waving flags, you release the clutch. Here things get a little wild. As you see, he goes on the inside, door shuts down. Uh, it was just a crazy start for him. He did not get away well. Uh, but after that, he got in a rhythm, he started making some moves. But you saw there, uh, the 522 got a little squirrely, uh, bumped into somebody else, and then came down far shad. So, did not get that good of a start or, that he needed, but definitely had a speed. And he just had to calm down, put his head down, uh, and then drive, and then he would have been fine. Um, everybody was neck and neck. These lap times were really, really close. So, uh, any little mistake can cost you big. Uh, you have to be on top of your game the whole time. Uh, braking changing gears uh accelerating everything comes up 10 times faster in this class so definitely had to be on top of your game 
and uh, your mental focus has to be there all the time. There he goes on the inside, sends it in. Farshad was doing great on the breaks. Uh, he was doing an amazing job. You saw that move was like from two or three cards back. Uh, dove it down in the inside, got on the brakes hard, and made the move stick. Uh, here, this looks like a double right fast section to a nice little breaking zone. He was making some moves throughout the whole track. Uh, and then from here, it looked like a double left. And then this is like the back half of the straightaway. It's a long straightaway. And you see how far back he is. He gets a really good run, gets laid on the brakes, downshifts. Gets back on the gas and flies out of the corner. Uh, the guys in front got away for a little bit, but he was able to chase him down. And he was just, you know, being really late on the brakes. Like, two, three, four cart lengths back. You'll see him again. Uh, dive it in there down. Get really late on the brakes. You go turn the cart. Downshift. Get back on the power. He was doing an excellent job throughout the whole series. Uh, here he gets right on the back bumper. You know, just just inches away inches away and uh, here he gets uh, a little excited he uh, sees him gets a little wide uh, thinks he can make the move again and BAM that's how close it is just gets in sends it in makes the pass sticks goes for it and he's out and he's checked out uh, he had an amazing run uh, he was quick he was always fast uh, he was just getting better and better as the uh, day went on he was super happy how the car was performing uh, track looked so tight people were saying and it was hard to pass but you no know, far show was making making it happen making the passes stick uh, he did an amazing run if it wasn't for the start of the race it would have been much much better but you know uh, can't always uh, ask uh, get what you ask for uh, he made he turned a bad situation to a good situation when being able to make all those passes. Uh, it's split decision second uh, split making decisions at the very end because you know, the speed the closing speed is so big you gotta commit to it and hope the guy sees you hope the door doesn't close on you. Uh, be well on your brakes and you can see the lines different from what we do in a 206 or a tag or a single speed. Uh, the line's more like a dart, go to the next turn, get on the brakes, uh, basically get the car pointed straight, go to the next turn, get the car rotated, uh, make sure you're downshift. There's just a lot of stuff going on. So good job for him, excellent run, and a good momentum getting to the next heat. Three finals in the books uh, for the uh, shifter rock. Zach fell back to 20th after uh, incident in turn one. And they worked his way back up to P15 in the end. Had a lot of good speed. Uh, was getting quicker as the run went on. Uh, definitely was moving forward. So we're getting ready for heat three. Coming up around one. Some change. Uh, Farshad trying to get a little better start on this one for sure. And then trying to move up. And then Renee is going to try to hold off Jordan a little bit better. And then just slightly uh, adjust where he's getting beat. But we're just having lunch. Thanks to nope, oh, wrong side. Bole. If you haven't tried them out, you need to give them a try. Some of the best and healthiest food you can have. Very tasteful. So if you haven't had any bole, see if there's any in the area and check it out. Here we go for heat number three. Uh, he's hoping for a better start, so different tactic here. Uh, they get going, he shoots to the outside, uh, thought he got a really good start, but then uh, the motor bogged down a little bit. Uh, he was on the outside coming up to the right-hander, so he decided to back out of it, let the uh, two that were on the inside go, uh, play it smart. He knew he had the speed, it was a smart move just to back out, let them go, and then uh, work his way forward. Uh, instead of pushing the issue and then maybe hitting a barrier, banging something up. So sometimes, you know, you want to go for the move, you want to send it, but you got to think about it it's for the long run. Uh, in these events, it's all about finishing well, points. Uh, here he goes on the inside. The door shuts uh, close. Uh, he was just isn't close enough. Um, the 522 here is going to make a move. Uh, and then right when he makes the move, Farshad knows he has to go as well. There goes the move, the move and he sends it up on the inside. He has to go with him as well. So he was very, playing it very smart. He was taking calculated risk. Um, he was definitely doing well. He was going really fast. 
Uh, here he comes up again. He's riding 522 uh, pretty well. He was just really good on the brakes. Um, he three, two, three cart lengths back, sends up on the inside. Uh, just, you know, that was just a beautiful pass. Uh, he was doing it all weekend, too. It wasn't just like once or twice. He was doing it all weekend, making those passes work, making it all work. Um, there'll be times that it was, ah, you know, it was, you wouldn't think it would happen, like right here. And then he just tried to make it happen. The door closed on him. Uh, the gentleman behind him did not see him. Uh, that was just a move that did not work. Uh, the gentleman, unfortunately, was not able to finish that heat race uh, due to a penalty in the Rock Cup. Farshad ended up starting behind him uh, for the next uh, race, which were the pre-finals. So um, he had to end up starting last, but he had a really good run in the end. Uh, starting here in the pre-finals, he has to start last uh, due to the incident that he caused. That's how quick split second I was. Uh, he gets going again, bam, sends up all the inside. It looks like he's just insane. Look see how crazy it was that start. Just going straight for that car and the car darts out of the way at a second. But he actually gets a good run, um, gets away pretty well. And then he starts tracking his way forward, uh, making his way up. So it was, gosh, it was so dang close. When you look at that camera angle, he's going straight to that car. And then he ends up, you know, making it work and making it happen. So here he is. He's uh, pretty far back, um, just making his way forward, trying to do as best he can. And then he had someone come here in a braking zone and uh, just basically ride his back bumper and then just push him wide. Uh, there he goes. He loses a couple positions. Uh, he'll lose another position here again. And then he has to work his way forward. Uh, once you get into that dirty, uh, the rubbered area on the outside and that gets on your tires it takes you a split second to get that crap off the tires and then you can get going again so the next lap's just going to be junk or the next couple turns your car's going to feel like crap but like there he goes then again just goes on the inside sends it on the brakes late hits it i mean he was just so quick he had speed for top three he just had bad qualifying session due to smacking some barriers and just not getting off to the best starts and uh, you know how it is in the mi midfield battle you know you get dicing and battling back and forth uh but here he goes 508 is right behind the other guy uh farshad is just trying to calculate where he can make the pass where he can make the move uh definitely it was really close racing for a couple laps here here he goes back down uh, the 508 uh, gets in deep. He's going to get out of turn. He's just going to lose the back end a little bit. Almost hits the 513. And just that was like a free pass given to Farshad. He was right there, pounced on it, uh, made the move work, and kept going. And he was quicker than 513 as well. And then this was like his favorite passing area. He just go deep, shoots it to the corner, and just get on the brakes, good to go. And then, bam, uh, two cars become one. Uh, I don't know what happened and you know this class things happen so fast so uh, racing incident uh, you know bent some stuff up but we got it fixed and we got ready for the finals but he had a good run going for sure still working hard still at it pre-finals in the book uh, Renee had an issue with this gear shifter so he, it was very difficult for him to uh, get into a correct gear while downshifting uh, So he fell back to P3 Farshad was all the way up to P6 at one point until Him and another car decided to become one and then There were issues with that because he had a flat tire and he couldn't really get off the uh, the other cart so never seen this happen, but yeah uh speed top three but he's gonna be starting in the back and then hopefully uh we figured out renee's shifter issue we'll be moving up uh zach had an okay pre-final he moved up a couple spots i don't know what happened in the last lap he got shuffled back uh, definitely we're still going to be here working uh doing changes uh renee's going to go back to a morning setup he had on by uh by changing a couple things. Farsha is extremely happy with this car. So basically we just tore it down, cleaned it up, made sure everything was good to go. 
uh, bent all, all the pieces. They used me to bend it back. And then uh, Matt's going to do the final little touches of cleaning up. Uh, on Renee's car, we're doing the same thing, except he's going with a different setup completely. And then we'll see what Zach will do in the end. Uh, of course, I'm here uh, supervising everything, uh, making sure that uh, everybody stays hydrated for tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, it's going to be completely different. Uh, it's going to be a lot of shifter driving, so it's, it's going to be awesome to see and watch. Uh, I always love these events. Uh, always come, I love coming out watching them, so I hope you guys enjoy these videos. On to tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to the final day of the Rock Cup for round one here at Pompano Beach, Florida. Here, um, getting everything ready, getting the carts warmed up. Uh, Renee is going to go out there with brand new tires. Just like brace conditions to make sure you have the right setup in. Uh, they adjusted the uh, shift lever. Mario came over here and looked at the engine, uh, making sure that he's, uh, he's able to uh, get the downshifts correctly right, making sure that everything was correct. Uh, Farshad is out there. He's gonna have, he's gonna start last in the uh, finals because the incident he had. So he's definitely gonna have to make up some ground, but he has the speed. If he gets a good start. He could work his way up to the top five. Uh, Renee has a really good chance of uh, winning, hopefully. And see if he stays close to Jordan. Jordan's really fast. So, and then the afternoon session, it will be uh, the shifters, senior, uh, Zach, because they do a split schedule. Morning half the classes, they do ceremony, and then the afternoon, the other half the class with ceremony. So. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Thanks for uh, sticking with me through this video. I hope you guys enjoy. So here Farshad goes out for warm up in the morning. Um, he uh, did a couple changes to the carts. Added some caster to get the cart to rotate a little better. And uh, they changed the cassettes in the rear. So uh, it was just a different setup in the rear as well. Uh, here this is the only time you really use the clutch just to get going. After that. Uh, First and second, you just pop the, the gas and uh, pull into gear. After that, you can flat foot it and just pull through the gears. And then when you downshift, you let go. So this is just the way they get going. They really don't get, get moving to like, like two or three. Uh, they warm up the brakes. They warm up the tires. They get try to get heat as much as they can because uh, it's pretty wild and crazy. We got like close to 50 horsepower on this little cart that weighs, I think, like 395 or 405 pounds with driver and everything so uh, you definitely want to get everything warm you definitely want to have the grip before you start going to full uh, sun mode uh, for sure uh, you want to get the engine up to temperature as well uh, to optimal uh, racing temperature and then you want to get, make sure that uh, everything that you did is tight it doesn't fall apart on you. Uh, it's a little bit more dangerous than the 206 class if uh, you lose a wheel at high speeds. But warm up went well. We were just getting ready for the finals. That's all. So warm ups are in the books. Uh, they haven't come back from uh, coming off the scale. But super proud of Farshad today. He, I mean, P4 in warm up. And he didn't go on new tires or anything. So he was moving for sure. Uh, Renee ended up uh, P5. Both of them did an amazing job. Uh, can't wait to see how uh, the finals go down. That'll be coming up next. So, pumped up to see the finals. All right, starting off in the finals. This is what we've been winning for all weekend. This is what counts. He gets a freaking crazy start on the outside. Uh, it sets him up to the inside, but next thing you know, the door gets shut. And he has to get on the brakes hard, loses momentum. Then he's about to get past here. Uh, by the 599 uh, he was moving at the very beginning uh, and this class is so dang tight if you don't get a good start it's going to be really really hard to uh, make the passes so uh, Farshad knew he had a good warm-up session he had the plenty of speed but he had to get moving quick uh, he gets a really good run coming out of here uh, had to back out of it from the 586 and then he just goes right here he's just going to send it on the inside uh, getting set up uh, he's getting a really good run. Uh, the 528 in front of him gets a little loose on this part of the track. Farshad's about to go inside and did not see that coming. <laughs> man, he got to the back him, almost broke his neck. But definitely he was like, oh man, he just 
the door just shut. It just happens so quick sometimes. He catches back up to a 529. Uh, here he gets a much better run, uh, goes a lot deeper into the brakes, gets beside him, uh, makes a nice clean pass and gets going again. Uh, you can see the nose a little, little bent, but you no, know, that's, that's all right. There's no pushback bumpers here. Uh, you saw the gap that he had in front. Uh, he was able to chase down the two guys in front of him and then he just sends it on the inside. He was just all weekend just those brakes were on fire. I'm telling you, he was just late braking, getting those passes done, just making everything stick. Uh, he was just improving every session. Uh, Cart was working well. He was really happy with it. Uh, he just go on the inside and just commit, make the move and just send it in. Uh, he drove an amazing race. Awesome job by him for sure. TB Cart was rolling. He was driving great. Uh, very proud of his performance this weekend. Uh, coming down to the last lap, you know, motor performed well thanks to speed labs mario uh, chassis performed well thanks to matt for all the changes that he did farsha drove great uh, renee had some issues with the shifter so he was still fighting that was able to hold on for p2 uh, Farshad just overcooked some of the tires uh, i think he ended up like p6 in the end uh, p7 i'm not 100 sure but the drive was great the speed was there all weekend and definitely awesome job to rock cup usa for putting on this event uh it was just a great event like they always do they stayed on schedule they hand out penalties when the penalties need to be handed out and they're on top of their game this weekend so good job congratulations to everybody hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button so guys master shift the finals in the book far shot in the p8 uh, was really quick but I think he overcooked the tires and then couldn't really do I mean couldn't move up as much as he wanted to but then Renee overcame issues still and this is something we'd like to see that means we went to tech he ended up P2 in the end awesome job from him he is trying to regain some energy because it took a lot out of him. He's old too. <laughs> Max up, shift the senior. Zach has hit headphones in. He's getting into a mental game. He's getting mentally prepared for it. Ricky's done all the adjustments. All that's left to do is send it. The work never stops. And the P13 in warm-up was quick. We gained some time from yesterday after all the changes. We're tweaking it up just a little bit more, see if we can get a little bit more out of it. Uh, finals are coming up. Lick it, stamp it, stamp it and send it. <laughs> so a recap of round one. Uh, I just want to close out the video saying that Zach did an awesome job. He drove through the field in the finals, ended up in the top 10, which is a great turnout. So very happy for him at the moment. Uh, no, I'll, I'll walk, appreciate it though. Thank you. So it was a blast to watch him go through the field. So a recap of the last round, uh, Zach did an awesome job, uh, drove through the field. I just wanted to do a recap of the last race. Uh, he ended up with the top 10 finish. Uh, all the carts doing amazing so hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button and uh this is the very beginning of round two so look out for that video coming out soon uh hope you guys enjoy these videos uh enjoy making them i enjoy meeting you guys and take it easy remember catch you on track remember to send it